Hello everyone and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sarah astounded to see Xander handcuffed, the result of Harris's surgery. The spoilers for Tuesday, February 13th episode of Days of Our Lives indicate that Wendy Shin discussed Ava Vitali's near admission that the bistro was involved in a perilous situation with Ray Fernandez and Jada Hunter. After what transpired with Harris Michaels, Wendy felt compelled to reveal what she knew, so she revealed Ava's suspicious actions and how Stefan DiMera appeared to be involved. When Rafe begged Wendy to be his eyes and ears, she was hesitant to spy on Trip Johnson's mother, but in the end, she gave in. Additionally, Wendy used her tech prowess to try if she could obtain any information from Officer Goldman regarding a burner phone that one of the police units discovered in a dumpster close to the bistro. On Tuesday's episode of Days, Julie Williams and Chad DiMera thanked Maggie Kiriakis, Suzanne Rogers, for welcoming them into her home at the Kiriakis estate. Since Doug Williams didn't want to leave Thomas and Charlotte DiMera's side while they slept, they were upstairs together. Julie was perplexed as to how the Horton House fire occurred, but Chad admitted full responsibility and gave an explanation for the garbled phone call that said, maybe next time, you'll listen. Chad said that there might be a method to unblock the number from which he received the call because he believed Clyde Weston was taking revenge for the news he had published. Julie snapped at Chad for not taking the threat seriously, but she soon collected herself and saw that Clyde should have taken the fall instead of Chad. Maggie insisted that while Julie rebuilt brick by building, they would all live there, despite Julie's concerns about where they would reside. Following Jada Hunter's revelation to Rafe that Harris was concealing Lucas Horton in his flat, Chad arrived and provided updates on the fire. Rafe took Chad's phone to look into the three events that were suspected of being related to Clyde tonight, and he assured Chad that they would find the man. On Tuesday's DOL program, Ava was at the hospital worrying about Harris in the waiting room and thought she might not get the chance to tell him how much she loved him. When Stefan questioned why Ava had become intimate with him, Ava was incensed by the inquiry and followed up with another query before deciding she didn't want to know. Stefan forewarned Ava about the threat to the people they loved most, even though she thought they had to shut down Clyde. After removing the bullet and stabilizing Harris for surgery, Kayla Johnson updated Ava and Stefan on Harris's collapsed lung. Significant internal bleeding was also present, thus Harris would require watchful observation. The course of the next 24 hours would determine whether or not Harris survived this crisis. After learning that she was Harris's emergency contact, Ava was moved and finally spent some time sitting with the unconscious man. Ava made it clear that she was in love and had Harris work hard to win her back. At the hospital, Officer Phillips, Brian Molina, kept a watchful eye on Stefan and would occasionally glance across at him with suspicion. Stefan appeared tense as well when Ava was at Harris's bedside. On Tuesday's episode of Days, Wendy was back at the police station when she got a hit on the burner phone from the garbage and showed Rafe and Jada what she had found. Officer Goldman presented the warrant after they received it and gave a brief, uncomfortable grimace. Officer Goldman was asked whether she was all right by Jada, but all she said was that she went too far in the gym. Xander Cook avoided Sarah Horton's attempts at passion once more and left for the shower when he got home. After a while, Sarah came to join Xander, who reminded her that they had promised to move slowly. They actually took a leisurely and steamy shower together after Sarah insisted they could go at Xander's pace. Following that, on Tuesday's episode of Days, Sarah and Xander went to the bedroom and confessed their unwavering love for one another. Xander and Sarah hugged and relished the sensation of being in each other's arms once more as soon as they hit the sheets. Sarah also brought up the bizarre text Xander received, asking if it was finished. Xander found it peculiar and appeared to be at a loss for words. A shocked Sarah watched as Xander was detained shortly after Rafe and Jada came in with support. As Jada shackled Xander in his underpants on the floor, Victoria Horton Cook sobbed in the adjoining room. Keep an eye on Days of Our Lives because teasers indicate that Xander will have to prove his innocence. Clyde's Last Destiny, Escape Results in a Gruesome Murder? Spoilers for Days of Our Lives hint that Clyde Weston is serving time in jail. However, it hasn't stopped the career criminal from being involved in a significant narcotics operation that has caused an overdose epidemic in Salem. He has been using Stefan Cassidine and Ava Vitali as a front for the operation by blackmailing them into using the bistro. 
However, Clyde has a lot of debt, and it's clear that a jail term isn't the right penalty for him. There's good cause for several salemites to want Clyde dead. Clyde Weston is hated by who? Chad DeMera despises Clyde more than anyone else. Viewers will recall that Clyde came dangerously close to getting away with stabbing Sonny Kiriakis and killing Abigail DeMera, Marcy Miller. Chad ultimately came to the conclusion that Clyde was guilty and nearly killed him. E.J. DeMera, his brother, stopped him, but E.J. has nearly as much motivation to exact revenge on Clyde. A few years back, Clyde shot E.J., who would have perished if Dr. Wilhelm Rolf's serum hadn't kept him alive. But that's only one of Clyde's many foes, the list of suspects is growing. Because Lucas Roberts was a Harris Michaels informant, he was beaten while incarcerated. Additionally, Ava and Stefan would stop at nothing to avoid being under Clyde's authority. Trip Johnson might take Clyde's life in order to keep his mother Ava safe. Not to be forgotten is Nancy Miller, whom Clyde courted a few years ago while feigning reform. Since Clyde doesn't seem to be able to be stopped by prison, someone will probably wish to put an end to him once and for all. He has caused a great deal of mayhem and ruin. Fantastic Escape Undoubtedly, Clyde's ultimate objective is to escape from prison in any means possible. After blackmailing the former governor, he is seeking a pardon. That probably won't work again, so Clyde is probably planning his getaway sooner rather than later. However, he should exercise caution in making wishes beforehand, as someone might take advantage of the chance to put an end to his threats if they catch him before he's safely behind bars. How do you feel? What is the ultimate scheme of Clyde? Is he going to break out of prison soon? Or is someone putting him on the spot only to get rid of him? Days of our lives just stunned us by pulling off the completely unimaginable, but there may yet be hope for them to pull off a Christmas miracle for their fans. Ever since they released their season trailer hinting at a fire in the Horton house, we have been anxiously anticipating this day on Days of Our Lives. To what extent would it be detrimental? Would someone pass away? Would they be able to salvage the family home? After the fire on Monday, it was soon clear that Doug, Julie, Chad, and his children would lose their home and that the entire house would burn down. That was bad enough, but there was one more question, what about the Christmas ornaments? With the fire raging, we were virtually yelling that at the TV. Were the ornaments saved by anyone? And we finally had our response on Tuesday, February 13th, in the episode. The loss of the Horton ornaments, which were completely destroyed in the fire, seemed like a bodily blow to us. Tom, Alice, Mickey, and the rest of the generations are represented in these decorations. A significant portion of the Christmas season for many people, not just the Hortons on TV, but also viewers of Days of Our Lives, is the yearly hanging of the ornaments. It's one thing when the Horton house burns down. Even though the fire was devastating, it wasn't the end of the world because houses undergo renovations during the day. The Horton set that we've grown accustomed to isn't the original one. But as we stated in the headline, it is unfathomable to destroy the ornaments, this concrete, emotional, and lovely link to Salem's and Days of Our Lives history.